Today on whatifi.com, we're taking a look at the new Range Rover Sport and a sound system designed to take in-car audio to greater heights, literally. The Range Rover Sport comes with a choice of two different systems, specially designed by British hi-fi manufacturer Meridium. The first, the standard system, is called the surround sound system. Now this comes with 19 speakers and 825 watts of power. But in this car, we've got the optional reference signature system. Now that comes with a power hike to 1700 watts, uh, includes improved speaker materials, and also you get four additional channels, taking the total number of speakers up to 23. And it's where these speakers are located in the car that makes this system really interesting. You've got two in the roof at the front of the car, and you've got two in the roof at the rear. Now, height channels isn't something we're new to, and especially in home cinema, it's been around for quite a few years now, but it's the first time this has been used in a car setting. So how does it work? Well, Meridian has introduced a technology called Trifield 3D. It's basically a tweaked version of the company's normal Trifield tech, which takes a stereo signal and blends it with the centre and surrounds. Obviously, in this case, you need to take into account the addition of the new height channels. Now, with normal in core audio, a lot of the time, speakers tend to be positioned below ear height. Now, with the addition of the Trifield 3D tech and the height channels, this has allowed Meridian to move the stereo image from deep down in the footwell of the car up towards head and ear height, thus kind of replicating what you get with a home stereo system. So besides the Meridian Trifield 3D processing, you also get a choice of using the Dolby and DTS equivalents. Now these are the kind of things you find on a home cinema ramp and you can try them out in the car. Now we've had an experiment between all three and I think it's fair to say we definitely choose the Meridian option because that sounds more uh, entertaining uh, and just gives you a bit more of an enveloping sound. So in terms of general infotainment features in the car, the main things are the touch sensitive display, complete with touch sensitive controls, there's a CD slash DVD player. There's also Bluetooth connectivity for streaming music. and also a USB socket for plugging in and charging, say an iPhone. This particular touchscreen uses Land Rover's dual view functionality, which allows the passenger using the supplied wireless headphones to watch TV or listen to music while the driver's free to concentrate on, say, the sat nav and navigation. So now you're probably wondering how does the system sound and whether maybe the height speakers are a bit of a gimmick. Now in our opinion I don't think they are and it does bring something slightly different to the in-car experience. You feel slightly closer to the music, you feel slightly more involved and a bit more entertained. Yeah maybe the system doesn't sound quite as exciting as we'd like but it certainly brings a different dimension to, to listening in car and we're really excited to see how this trend takes off in the future.